Hey guys, it's Asteria, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, the date is a little bit back in time than it should be, even for me IRL right now when I'm recording this, it's actually the 5th, but that's just because I was late to recording, first of all, I'll try to fix that in between episodes, but yeah, today in Animal Crossing is actually a very beautiful day. I love it when it's cloudy, like in real life and in game. Our flowers are all looking like they're the same color on the webcam. I think I need to fix that, but it's actually cloudy in real life right now and it's matching that in game, which is like one of my favorite things in the world it's when either both are cloudy or both are rainy. I just, I don't know. It's extra cozy to me. <laughs> so this episode's probably not going to be too long and I don't know how many of those super long episodes there are going to be. I'm sorry that I'm just like watering my flowers while rambling, how exciting, but it took like nine hours to render that other video, much less upload it. So there might not be as many long episodes. I'll water all those flowers later. We probably shouldn't just focus on that. So there are bugs around. I caught a yellow butterfly. Yeah. Oh, the little bell's ringing, but I don't think I've caught a white one yet. We need to take the yellow one to Blathers too. Let's just get this guy real quick. I caught a common butterfly. How could I resist? I wonder what my encyclopedia says. Yep, so that's a new catch too. So, um, all the pave furniture we got, which is all down here, I did get on and get some more. I need to clean up the extra feathers and everything. We're selling it because I sold some duplicates whenever I was playing on my own, trying to get everything. I didn't get everything, but I got a lot. But... Look how much money we have. We're paying off our house today. How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. But let's talk to Francine quick, because I love Francine. And then we're gonna sell some stuff and go to Blathers and everything. Well, good morning, Wisteria. Lovely to see you, Carrot. Was there something you wanted, Carrot? Let's talk. Well, Punchy asked me to get something, so I went out and bought it, Carrot. Punchy asked me to keep it all hush-hush, so I'm worried that if I deliver, everyone will see it. Can you take it to Punchy for me, Wisteria? Oh, and be very discreet about the whole thing. I'll take care of it. Why is this so sketchy? Here it is, Wisteria. Thanks for all your help. Okay, so we'll take that to Punchy real quick. Why not? Oh, and one more thing. Deliver it before the end of the day, okay? All right, we can go do that right now. Uh, I think it was Sheldon. I think Sheldon told me he was moving soon. So if anybody wants Sheldon, oh. I wasn't supposed to erase that, but that's okay. Punchy lives here. He's blocking off that area. He might be gone by the time I upload this. Maybe not. It depends on if I um, fast travel to try to fix the time right away or not. But yeah. Oh, Willow's over here too. How cute. Let's go ahead and talk to Punchy. Willow's visiting too. Being popular is super sweet and warm. <laughs> anyway, did you need something? Delivery time. Oh, is this delivery for me? Sweet. Let's just go ahead and give that to him. Yes, this has to be the thing I asked Francine to pick up for me. All right, let's open this up. What is it? I can't see. <laughs> it's a modern wood shelf. Wow. Why Why did you need to be discreet about this shelf? Awesome, this is the real deal, Murft. Thanks for going to the trouble of delivering that. Here's a gift to express my appreciation. I can't see what it is because there's a fridge in the way. <laughs> it's a baseball shirt. Oh. It's clean, so don't worry about that. Mrumped. Alright, let's talk to Willow real quick. So, hello there, Wisteria. Come to visit Punchy too? How fascinating. What would you like to chat about, Wisteria? Let's, let's chat. There's rumor going around that you're a green thumb. Oh, really? As far as rumors go, that's not half bad. I've certainly been called worse. Yeah, me too. I, I think being a green thumb would actually be pretty good. I wish I had a green thumb. I'm actually super bad with plants, but I love plants, so it's it's tragic. Okay, what's all in my inventory right now? Um, what's this stuff? Oh, more pave furniture. We have some feathers. We can sell these things. And what's this? A basic painting. We need to take that to blathers. So let's put all the blather stuff, like... I'm gonna click and drag that before I accidentally release it. Um, yeah, we'll put all the blather stuff down there. I have a lot of fossils, but I dropped them near the train station so that I have some inventory room. I think I left some stuff around. Yeah, I did. Oh, I need to sell that actually, so 
probably gonna erase a path instead. There we go. <laughs> Actually didn't for once. Look at that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna pick up as much as this- wait, I haven't caught this butterfly yet. Taking it. Oh, it's so cute. I caught a peacock butterfly. Is it a bird or a bug? Okay, cool. So let's put that into the blathers corner. Boop, we can pick up two more pieces of furniture. Um, I'm actually only gonna pick up one just in case we see another bug on the way. Because that's definitely something we need to do. Oh, yeah, there's a bug. Right on my flowers, of course. <laughs> a little ladybug! Aww. Or is this one a man? I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm glad I left that spot open. But now I see another bug! Oh, well. I gotta drop it. I gotta drop something. I gotta catch that bee. We will drop the pave table. Sorry, pave. Alright, where'd it go? I hear it buzzing. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. There we go. Cool. A honeybee. What a sweet catch. We're catching so many things. Okay. Let's try to make it to retail before we catch something else. Ha. Huh. Oh, what do you want? Hey, Wisteria. I know this is kind of coming from out of nowhere, but I was thinking, maybe it's time for me to try an image change, you know? So, uh, could you maybe think of a thoughtful greeting for me to use? Um, possibly. Alright, that's my Wisteria. Let's get right to it. Hmm, what do I want him to say to me? So in the GameCube series, I like to have my villagers call me my queen, so maybe I should go with something like that. It won't fit. Ah, why do they have all this extra space right here? If you can't type. Alright, so your highness will fit. But I hope he exclaims it. Like, I know I could put an exclamation point there, but then if he added a period onto it, that'd be weird. So we're just gonna do that, I guess. Because I'm royalty. Your highness. Your highness. Am I doing it right? You got it. <laughs> your highness. How about that? It's like, I'm saying goodbye to the old me and hello to the new. Yes, you are now one of my subjects, Limburg. <laughs> I feel like I've been reborn. Thanks, Wisteria. I mean, I am living in the blue palace. It's not a palace yet, but that's what we're gonna call it. So... Speaking of which, I wonder if that would fit in this comment. I doubt it, but maybe. It does. Welcome to the blue palace. That's going to be our mayor's little greeting whenever y'all see her in like dreamy dresses and whatnot. So look at that. Can we put an exclamation point? Because I'm an excitable person. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cool. We have a little say in now. Oh, look at how our character used to look. We need to update that, but I need to get some emotions from um, Shrunk. I still haven't done that yet. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should do that this episode. We could do that. Actually, no, no, we can't because I'm going to actually time travel this episode. I forgot because Tortimer shows up the day after you pay off your house, like for the first time, I think, or for the second time, technically, but yeah. I want y'all to get to see Tortimer's dialogue without having to re record tomorrow too. Okay, so let's just sell these extra things. I think that's everything. Wait, was this Pave stuff? Yeah. Okay, so let's sell this real quick. See, look how much, and we'd hardly sold any of it. Like, we are so rich right now. Like, oh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just buy this. Because <laughs> this is mine. Taking it. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, I love that bench so much. Uh, yeah, oh, also, Cyrus woke up. That's something I forgot to mention. So we can start customizing furniture, which is definitely something I want to do with like the Astro set and the Lovely set. I think I might do that too. Let's go ahead and set the bench down and then I'll pick up some fossils and take it all to Blathers and then we'll sell some more stuff. I guess I can pay off our house while we're up there too. I still need the blue door too. It looks ridiculous with this door, but I think once it's all set up, it'll look really cute, especially when it's a castle. Look at how pretty our room is. I actually really like it with the lights off. Like this is with the lights on. But with the lights oh, with the lights off, it fits into the theme even better. I'm just going to go ahead and put the bench in here for now because we don't really have anywhere to put it. I kind of want it to start raining in game. Like, I wish it would. It'd be so nice and cozy. I love spring and summer in Animal Crossing or like early summer because it, it rains a lot. And like, I love the rain. Oh, is this a new bug? 
Oh no, I thought that was the other yellow butterfly, but it is not, so we will not catch it. We won't pick up the pave furniture just yet. Also have this lovely carpet over here that I need to do something with. I don't know if we're even gonna use a lovely carpet. I might just sell it. I just kind of wanted it for the catalog, just in case. Oh, let's read this real quick. Attention customers, is this- no, that's not from today, okay. Today was Sheldon's birthday, okay, so we already saw that. Let's just pick all these up so that we can donate them. Or sell them. Selling them would be very good too. There we go, alright, let's run- oh, Fuchsia's here now, I don't think I've introduced myself or reintroduced myself to her. <laughs> We meet at last. You have no idea how long I've been itching for my chance to say hi. Mysteria, right? <laughs> you lived here like a month ago. <laughs> I'm Fuchsia. I've seen you around, but I kept putting off inviting you over. But hey, you're here now. No better chance to make up for lost time, am I right? <laughs> I really like that she just doesn't remember us, and it also makes me really sad. So I think I've decided for the town hall and train station, I'm going to go with the modern stuff. Just because I haven't seen it done very much, and like I've said before, I'm trying to do something pretty unique with Solitude. We're not saying that like towns like Solitude have never existed, because I bet they have, <laughs> but I've never seen them, so it's original to me. And I've been to uh, lots of dream towns, so <laughs> there's nothing wrong with like having your town look like another town or anything in my opinion like because there's only so much you can do with an animal crossing town if that makes sense i feel like uh windhelm looks like a lot of other towns and i love windhelm so it's fine so long as you're happy with your town it's fine oh we have all of these fossils guys we are gonna be so rich today i can't i can't handle Let's go ahead and make a donation. Wow, I can't believe we had none of- or we already had all of those. Like, wow. I'm gonna be able to sell them all and just make so much money. Okay, so here we go. Donate all of those real quick and then <laughs> just go look in the shops and then pay off our house. I'm so excited. I can't believe how much money, like, we're gonna have by the end of the episode. What a drastic change from last episode. All because of festival. And these fossils will definitely help a lot. Let's go to Kix, because we never go to Kix. So, might as well look. I'm happy with my shoes and socks. I think they look cute, but just in case, you never know. Hmm, see like the purple polka dot ones are kind of cute, but I prefer my purple simple ones. So, I don't think we'll buy them. I know that we need to kind of like start buying more clothes for like the Gracie fashion checks and everything, but... We'll get around to it later. <laughs> I'll make sure I have like everything I need for that, hopefully, in the future. Okay, so is there anything here? I guess I should be on more of a lookout for stuff for um, Cicero too, but I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, I kind of like that skirt up here. Hmm, we're gonna get it, cause why not? There we go. We're taking it. <laughs> so, as some of you may have noticed, we're getting really close to 3,000 subscribers. I don't remember if I've talked about this or not in the series before, but I think I've decided two of the options that I want to do. I kind of want to, if my internet's good enough, because I would have to be streaming and allowing for my gate to be open, I would love to have you guys come over during a stream or something, but if my internet's not that good, then I'll just make like a video Announcing that my gates are open, that we've hit 3k, invite everybody over, and then record an episode of this series with everybody over. I don't know, let me know what you think about that idea. Oh, a robo floor! <gasps> let me see it. Let me see it. Show me. Yes, it's perfect. We're taking it. Yay, thank you. Okay, now what wall do you have? A mod wall. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh gosh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not about that life. Um, the karaoke machine plays Bubblegum KK, which is like my favorite Animal Crossing song. Hmm. Actually, it would kind of fit in with Cicero's house, because it, it looks, you know, technological. <laughs> we can pretend it's some sort of cool equipment, you know. I mean, a karaoke machine is actually pretty cool, but you know what I mean. 
let's just go ahead and go to Nook's Homes. Actually, we'll pay off our house first and then go there. You know, I just remembered Club Lol, whenever you're getting the emotions, you don't, I don't think it needs to be nighttime. Nighttime's just when it's open. So we should go talk to him. Let's just go ahead and repay the loan. We're paying back all of it, because why would we not? Yay, we did it. I'm so excited. Awesome. I finished paying off my home loan. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go get another one. <laughs> so here we are. There is a blue door, but not the right blue door. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. It's Wisteria. So good to see you. Hmm? Thanks so much for paying your home loan in full. Very good. Yes, yes. I always had faith that you would fulfill the terms of our little agreement, Wisteria. Now then, does your home not seem a teensy bit on the wee side? Yes, yes, I have to say, I do feel a slightly larger home would suit you much better, hmm? More room for furniture delights, and for gratuitous swinging of elbows, too. If you're interested, please let me know at any time, hmm? Please expand our home. <laughs> yes, yes, you would like to discuss your home, hmm? I want to expand. Hmm. Mysteria. It is time to make your home bigger. Yes, yes. A loan of 98. Oh, we could actually probably pay that one back too. But I kind of want to make or pay off our, um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> our public works project that we have going to. But still, we might be able to. I don't know. Let's do it. Excellent. I will put your order in right away. Hmm? The work will be fully completed by tomorrow morning. I'm so sure you must be very excited. Yes, yes. I am so excited. Thanks much. Great. This is just great. I'm like super pumped. We might pay off Cicero's house too. I think I think we'll do that. So we probably won't be able to pay it off right away, but we will have the island, so it's fine. Closed. I thought we could go in there. Even when he was in there. I don't know. I need to look up about Club Lol again because I don't remember. Maybe we have to go in there at night for the first time. I don't know. But it's fine. Let's just go ahead and go sell the rest of the stuff. I think I'm gonna go to the town hall again because I looked up about the dream suite and it said that after you've been mayor for seven days, go to the town hall. If Isabella's sleeping, talk to her. So I guess maybe it's just kind of a random thing after seven days, but let's try it before we pay off the thing. <sighs> Isabel, you need to go to sleep. <laughs> we'll just have to keep coming back. I'm not sure if we need to pay off the first um, public works project first or something? Like, if that's what's causing her to not go to sleep? Or that we have one active right now? I'm not sure. I'll drop this floor and karaoke machine off by Cicero's house. How much money do we have on us? Mm, let's go ahead and drop 40,000, I think, for Cicero. And then pick up these things to sell them. And then we can pay off our fountain. Okay, so let's see how much we get for all of this. Oh my gosh, we're so rich today. Like, wow. I'm so excited. Like, ah. Now, <laughs> let's go ahead. This episode might actually end up being pretty long because I feel like we're doing a lot today and we still have a lot to do. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's that big other yellow butterfly. I missed. Amazing. There we go. <laughs> okay, cool. There we go. Thanks to you, the fundraising target of 99,800 bells has been reached. Please look forward to the completed project. Yay! Awesome. The project's donation goal has been met. I'm so excited. Okay. So now, I'm gonna pick up my stuff. I'm going to water the flowers real quick. I'll, I'll skip past that, just so it's not ridiculously long or anything. And then we'll get on Cicero. <laughs> Have him pay off his house, put down his stuff and talk to Sable and then we will time travel forward a day on our mare and do everything that we need to do then. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about our hat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and pick these things up. Oh, hi Francine. She's running over to us. <laughs> she spooked me at first. All right, let's go ahead and go in here. There we go and display this. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and have it play. I love Bubblegum KK. It's my favorite song. <laughs> or, like, from Animal Crossing, anyways. Um, oh, I guess maybe we do need to talk to Tom Nook about it. Oh, did we never go talk to him in the first place? We might not have. I don't know. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my goodness. It's Cicero. So good to see you, hmm? Your home has now been built, yes? What do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams, hmm? 
And now the numbers. I deducted your down payment, leaving a grand total of 39,800 bells. Oh, so I actually was pretty close. Just a little over, but that's fine. That's the total amount of your paltry little loan. A mere trifle, really, yes? Mm, oh no, you don't pay me directly. Make, please make all of your payments at the post office. And there's no set schedule either. Pay the loan, whatever. All right. All right, all right, we, we've heard this before, so I'm just gonna skip past it. Oh my gosh, so much talking, please help. All right, <laughs> is there anything? I mean, I kind of like this stone, but after we pay off our loan, we're not gonna have any money. And I kind of want to have more of an idea of what I want to get for his house before I buy anything for it. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of robo exterior, isn't there? Or is that just happy home designer or is it in neither? I, I don't know, I feel like there is though. All right, so let's go ahead and instantly pay this off. Repay loan. And we're gonna pay back all of it. Yay, two houses paid off, one episode. Wow. Okay, so that's wonderful. Let's go ahead and talk to Tom Nook again. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much for paying your home loan in full. Wow, yep, that was very fast, but we've already heard this, so I'm gonna skip past this part. Alright, so there we go. We're gonna have two bigger houses tomorrow. Now I'm gonna go talk to Sable. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have not been keeping up with talking to Sable very well in Cicero. We'll get there someday. Okay, let's talk to her. Um, Cicero, is it? Hey, what gifts, sis? You almost never recall a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Be respectful. Please feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us at all. Alright, so we're getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and t skip forward a day and get back on our mare. Okay, so I need help. Let's go ahead and set the clock forward. And Tortimer should speak to us, hopefully, if I remember correctly. There we go. Oh, that's right, Mayor Wisteria. Our old mayor is visiting town. Yes. Why don't I introduce you? Mr. Tortimer. Well, hello there, whippersnapper. I'm Tortimer. I used to be the mayor of Solitude, you know? So you're this new mayor I've been hearing about. Wisteria, right? Being the old mayor, sometimes I wonder how things are going, so I decided to stop by and to say hi. I'm particularly glad I got to see you today. It's good fortune, I'd say. Right now I'm enjoying my golden years of retirement on a tropical island far, far from here. It's a resort island where summer is the norm and winter is banished. Are you jealous? Hey, 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 horf. <laughs> say! You should take a break from work and get refreshed by visiting the island from time to time. I'll be sure to give you detailed directions on how to get there, so meet me by the dock on the beach. Well, see you later, Sprout. <gasps> Yay! Oh, how nice that you can get to go to a tropical island. I'm so jealous. Actually, I've received invitations as well, but I just can't seem to find the time to go. That's so sad. And that's why I've still never been there. That makes me so unbelievably sad. <laughs> If you do end up going, please tell me all about it. I want to hear absolutely everything. Did I d digress a bit there? Sorry, sorry. Back to business then. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my heart. I feel so bad for Isabel. Please come with me, Isabel. It'd be okay. <laughs> okay, I think we caught that butterfly. Look at our house. It's a little bit bigger. Yay. Let's go ahead and go in. I want to look at it. So much more room. Let's go ahead. I'm, I I'm actually going to... I'm not gonna mess with the furniture right now. I'm really excited to talk to Tormer. <laughs> I might actually do that off camera so that I can link up my happy home designer save. <gasps> Our fountain. Yes, I forgot we need to talk to Isabel about that too. Yay, so much has happened this episode. I'm so glad. Oh yeah, I still need to sell all those feathers too. I'll do that off camera too. All right, let's just go down here and talk to Tormer then. Here he is. Oh, Wisteria. You came just like I hoped you would. Say now, what did I want to see you about? <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was going to tell you about the tropical island. The tropical island where I live is a resort where summer is endless and people visit from all over the world. On the island, there are lots of rare things you just can't see in any other places. You can relax on the beach or party hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. The boat there takes passengers to the island, arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to start making stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well then, work real hard as mayor. Let's meet up soon on the island. Hey hey, Horf. 
Yay, I'm so excited. So that means that whenever you guys come visit Solitude, we can go do island tours and whatnot. I just hate that there's a limit on how many people can be in your town at one time. It makes me sad. We'll just have to, like, you know, make room for other people, you know, can't stay for too, too long. Which makes me feel horrible, but I'm sorry. Well, it's just the way the game is. I wish we could all just hang out all at the same time. It'd be great, but also really hard to keep up with. <gasps> She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, she's so cute. Ah! Maristeria! It's not what it looks like. It's okay, Isabel. Okay, it's exactly what it looks like. But I was dreaming about work, I promise. Oh, that reminds me. We had a visitor earlier who suggested a new public works project. She wants us to put a dream suite on Main Street, yay, where you can take naps with vivid dreams. Cool, huh? She needs support from the town before it can open, so this is where you'd be a big help. I'll go ahead and add it to the list of public works projects under the name Dream Suite. Yay! Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her about the fountain. Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony for completing... Or to celebrate completing the fountain project. And considering you're the one who made this all possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'd be happy to. I was really hoping you'd say that, because I kind of already finished the preparations. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the site of the ceremony, shall we? Yay! Gonna have to take some pictures for the thumbnail. There we go. Oh, that one had the box in it. Ahem. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Solitude's Vital Fountain Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Yay, clap for Isabel. Take some pictures. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Wisteria. Let's do hooray for everyone. So cute. <laughs> well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. Yay! And now, to celebrate the completion of this public works project and all of the hard work that made this possible, ready, set, pop! Ah! <laughs> so cute! That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all of your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Yay! Okay, so now, before I end the episode, I'm going to go to the town hall again just to have the dream suite set up because that is the next thing we are going to be working on. Hi Mayor Wisteria, is there something I can help you with? Public works projects? Oh wait, no, we're not going to start this yet. I am so tired of watering the flowers every day. <laughs> oh wait, I accidentally pressed nothing. Alright, we're going to get an ordinance, if we have enough money. I don't remember if we do. We should, I think. Yes, we do. Okay, let's work on ordinances. At present, there are no ordinances in effect in Solitude. To enact an ordinance, a processing fee of 20,000 bells is required. Once enacted, ordinances can be cancelled for free. Shall we continue? Okay. Now then, what kind of town would you like Solitude to become? A beautiful town. Great idea, Mayor. I can see it now. A town where flowers live forever and weeds hardly ever grow. Ooh, and no garbage or cockroaches. That's your grand vision for Solitude, right? Exactly. Please. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to sign the Keep Solitude Beautiful Ordinance into law. Let's do it. Then it's official. The ordinance will go into effect tomorrow morning. I'll let the townsfolk know. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh yeah, we could probably do the public works project right now. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that it couldn't, but whatever. Here are the current requests. We want... The dream suite. It's so expensive. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, but at least we have the island now. We'll probably go there next episode. You won't be able to demolish the dream suite project. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> Great, maybe we should have the donation gyroids sit inside the train station this time. Is there anything else I can help you with? That is everything. Alright then. Okay. So, I think that I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. There's so many more things that I want to do, but I think they're going to have to wait till next episode because this one's getting pretty long. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.